Chris here with Barnyard Outdoors, and today we're going to be taking a look at a couple titanium cups. Yep, I've been waiting for this video. This is one guy, two cups. <laughs> So both of these cups that I'm gonna be looking at are both rated as 300 milliliter cups, but there's a little difference between the two and we will get into that. The first one here is the Fire Maple Alti, and this is their titanium cup. And you can buy this individually or you can buy this as like a, a cook set um, if you need to cook something really tiny. And the other one we're going to look at is the Boundless Voyage 300 milliliter titanium cup. And you know, I like the Boundless Voyage stuff. I also like the Fire Maple stuff. So this is going to be a good comparison. Let's take a look at these two. So first we're going to look at the Fire Maple Alti. And uh, it's, it's a nice little titanium cup. I've been using uh, this one for a couple camping trips now. And I've been pretty impressed with it. Um, it's got some features I like and uh, some things that uh, I think could make it a little bit better. It comes packaged in a nice little cardboard box. Um, it is, when you get it out of the package, it is actually wrapped in this uh, kind of like cellophane shrink wrap to protect the cup, which is is nice. Um, it's, it's a nice little cup. It's got measurements here on the outside. Um, everything from 100, 200, and then up to 300 milliliters, and those are easily visible on the inside as the, of the cup as well. And then it's got these little bat wing handles that fold out, which which are pretty nice. You can get you can get three fingers in it. It's it's a nice little titanium cup. I will put the specs up for this cup here on the screen so you can take a look at it. Um, it's it's a very nice cup. I've been I've been very impressed with it so far. So let's compare this to the competition which is the a Boundless Voyage 300 milliliter cup. Comes in a box as well. And the first thing you'll notice when you get this is this one comes with a stuff sack. This is a nice value add. I like things that come with a stuff sack, especially if you're gonna cook with them over a campfire and they get all <clears throat> sooty and dirty and you can put it in the mesh stuff stack to uh, protect the rest of your gear. So pretty basic mesh stuff sack. The other thing you notice right off the bat is this one comes with a lid. Oh, I love it when they do this. I love Boundless Voyage. They tend to put lids on just about everything they make. And if you look at a model that doesn't say it comes with a lid, I guarantee that they probably have another model that does include the lid. So that is another great value add along with the stuff sack. This one also has measurement markings on it that are visible on the outside and the inside. This is a little different. It's got uh, 2.5 ounces and uh, six ounce markings, and it's got a 100 and a 200 milliliter marking. Now that's that's one of the big differences, right? It only goes to 200 with the markings, where this one actually goes to 300, and that's about a quarter inch below the lip of the cup. And that's one of the main differences between these two cups, is although they're both 300 milliliter cups, this one has the marking and you're about a quarter inch from the top, this one, you're way up to the top of this thing. And I will show you this right now so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, generally not an issue. These are small cups, right? I'm, I'm using this just to drink out of. Sometimes I'm using them as a measuring cup, but there is a size difference. And I'll put the specs up for this one on the screen, the Boundless Voyage, so you can kind of see the difference between the two. Uh, but let's go ahead and put 300 milliliters of water in this. I'll fill it up right to the line and we'll see where that compares on the Boundless Voyage. So I've got the uh, the Fire Maple Alti right up to the 300 milliliter line. And let's put the Boundless Voyage here and see how much of a mess I can make. And now you can see that 300 milliliters in the fire maple is right up to the top of this. I mean, it's, it's, it's right at the very top. So another way to look at the size difference between these two, they're, they look like they're about the same height, but the diameter is where the difference is. The Boundless Voyage is a little bit smaller around. And actually you can take the Boundless Voyage and it's, it's kind of a tight squeeze, but 
course, you can fit it down into the fire maple. So when I look at these two, they're, they're both very similar, right? They're titanium. Um, when I look at things like the just the appearance, the, the fire maple looks a little bit more shinier. I'm not sure what grade of titanium they're using on this, but it's very similar to the uh, the color and the uh, the build of my uh, Snow Peak products. And Snow Peak makes some great titanium products. The Boundless Voyage looks like, you know, just every other Chinese one on the market, right? It's that darker gray, but both of them are both very solidly built. The handles are great. The, the handles on the Boundless Voyage seem a little bit smaller. I can only get two fingers in there. Three fingers would be a little bit of a stretch. Um, but with this one, it's it's very easy to grab this with three fingers. So they're ba both great cups. The, uh, the biggest difference, of course, is the capacity. Although the capacity is the same, you don't have any wiggle room with the Boundless Voyage. But for a value add, the lid is a very nice addition on this, especially with the little handle to pull it off. And it's got a little steam vent on it. Um, plus the way the lid sits on there, it's, it's very secure. It's not going to just fly off. It's, it's solid in there. The lid will not work on this one. It's just, it's just a little too, too small to be stable on the fire maple. And then with the boundless voyage, you also get the mesh stuff sack, which I think is a great value add. And if you know me and you've seen my boundless voyage, uh, videos and reviews of some of their other, other products, I love that you get a stuff sack. I love that you get a lid. That's just it's a huge value add for me. And speaking of value add, let's talk about the price on these two. The Fire Maple, this will run you their regular price. And I believe the current price on Amazon right now is uh, $29.95, just under $30 for this. Now, so currently it's February 12th, 2023. I know that they're having a sale right now and you can get this thing for just about, I think it's $21 on their website. The Boundless Voyage, Regular price on this is under $20. Under $20 for the titanium cup with the lid and the stuff sack. I think that's that's an absolutely amazing deal. Um, if I had to pick only one and I only had money for one, I would go with the Boundless Voyage just because of the lid and the stuff sack. I think those are great value adds. And the price is, you know, regular price is $10 less, which is a great deal. I do like the Fire Maple. I think it's a great cup. Um, I, like I said, I've been using it for the last couple campouts and uh, and been very happy with it. I've just been using it for my, my evening cocktails. Um, also, if you need to, you know, put coffee in it and keep it warm, it's nice to have a titanium cup that you can set next to the fire and, and warm up the contents. And, you know, you can do that with both. Uh, the big advantage with the lid is it keeps things like bugs out and debris. Here in the Midwest, when you get to the summertime and the fall, um, you really want something on top of the cup that you're drinking out of because you will get leaves and bugs and all sorts of things from the woods. We'll hop down and love to have a drink of whatever you're drinking. In closing, I think they're great. They're both great cups, and I don't think you can go wrong either way. But for me, it's the Boundless Voyage Cup. I think this is just a, a better deal price-wise, um, especially for the value adds of the lid and the stuff sack. If you have any questions about these two cups, please feel free to put them down in the comments below. I'm more than willing to answer any questions that I can about uh, these products and how I use them and what value I think they bring to me. Also, if you like these type of videos, remember to like. And uh, if you want to see new reviews of new products that I'm going to be reviewing, remember to subscribe to my channel. I've got a little hint of one of those products that's coming up. It's another titanium product. This is from, from Kuvik Titanium. And uh, they sent me a few of their products to actually test out, which I'm looking forward to doing here. So make sure you subscribe so you can see those and get notified when those videos come out. Thanks everybody for watching.